Welcome to your October reading. I can't believe it. Tenth month of the year. Let's find out what's in store for you for this month of October. What are the energies? And so we have here three crystal bracelets that you can choose from. Serpentine for group number one. Ocean Jasper for group number two. And we also have here Pink Opal for group number three, which is also the crystal for those who are born in the month of October. All right. So on top of Pink Tourmaline, you can also go for Pink Opal, which is also a great heart chakra stone. So those are the three options. Once you're ready, just click on the timestamps below. Okay, Serpentine, let's find out what's in store for you this month of October. Spirit Guides, Archangels, and Angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective we chose, group number one. Queen of the Ocean. You have here four of Pentacles in Reverse. You have Ten of Wands in Reverse. Hangman in Reverse. Seven of Cups in Reverse. And we have the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck you have here, Page of Swords. Okay, a lot of swords energies, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Well, we have Libra on the table, and that's quite interesting because October is also Libra season. And happy birthday, Libra, by the way. All right, and then after that, we also have here Pisces, if it's actually water, and then Taurus, if it's actually Earth. So what's in store for you this month of October, group number one? This is actually the month in which you guys are actually going to be a lot more clear with what it is that you needed to give up on or what it is that you need to release so that you can actually heal. That was so strong. I keep on sharing that. Some of you, you may have actually had this realization lately, or if not, you would come to a realization in which you will be realizing that there are some things that I needed to give up on. You know, especially if it's something that's weighing heavily on your back, something that's making you feel exhausted, some things that are actually not for your highest good. You are choosing yourself, group number one. That's really what I'm hearing. OK, regardless whether you're male or female, you're being represented as the empress. And the empress, you know, she is somebody um, who's very abundant. That's actually, you know, the number one thing. Um, she's also very um, generous. She's generous to the people around her. She's capable of giving a lot of affection, attention. But she knows how to give that back to herself. Okay. And she's also sure of herself. She knows who she is. So I really feel this is the energy that you guys are really going to be embracing this month of October. You will be in the energy of being open to receiving. So maybe a lot of you are going to be realizing that I tend to keep on giving to others, whether it's time, money, energy. All right. But some of you are going to be realizing that it's about time that I give something to myself. Okay, or that I am also deserving of receiving something, receiving blessings, love, affection, things like that. Okay, but some of you, you are going to be kind of like um, discarding or releasing some things that are actually weighing heavily on your back. Some of you are going to be having this really strong clarity of things. All right, like I'm seeing things now because again, I feel that for group number one, some of you may have realized this already or you're just about to. Another thing that I'm also getting here very strongly is that you are going to be in the energy of creation. Instead of waiting for opportunities or waiting for an opportunity to land down into your, you know, um, lap or what, you are going to be creating it. Okay. 
So the energy of dilly dallying is not really the case for group number one. I feel that a lot of you guys are also going to be realizing that if I want something, I have the capacity or the ability to create it, okay? And you're going to put your focus on the steps on how to make it into a reality. That's really the energy I'm getting as well. Lastly, I'm also picking up based on the energy of the cards, some of you are also going to be, again, you got the Four of Swords, which is a healing card. So you guys are actually healing from something that has given you a lot of burdens or ex that exhaustion is really what I'm picking up. Whatever it is that you're feeling exhausted about, I feel that this is coming off, all right? Again, that's why I picked up there's going to be an energy of release for group number one this month of October. Wow, very interesting. Let's try to pull up another set of cards here. You have, what do you need to release? What the freak? I was just talking about that. Oh my gosh, you saw me shuffle, right? Because that's exactly the energy for group number one. I keep on hearing it. You guys are going to be releasing some things that are weighing heavily on your back. Things that you know deep down, this is not really good for me anymore. Whatever that is. It can be negative, you know, um, behaviors. It can be self-limiting beliefs, whatever. Vices, addictions, whatever, okay? But there's definitely something that you will be releasing that you know is no longer for your highest good. Wow, I can't believe it. And now you got what do you need to release? This is creepy. All right, let's try to pull out more. You have decrease. See, a lot of release. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Man, well, so you're seeing it, all right? That's exactly what we were just talking about at the very start of the reading. There's a lot of release, that energy of you discarding, you know, some things that are actually not for your highest good. And it depends because it's a general reading, whatever that is for you. And the reason why I'm actually, you know, hearing that very strongly, it's because of they're kind of like saying that group number one, you guys are really awakening. You guys are actually going to be realizing something. Um, and on top of that, you will be doing all of these things because you're choosing yourself. You're choosing what is actually going to be best for you. What is really going to be um, appropriate for you in the situation. Whatever this is, man, this is so freaking interesting. Let's try to pull it more. Yep, because you're loving yourself. You're putting yourself first. You got women holding a heart. Now, that is quite interesting because... Let's go back to the card that you got earlier. Like what I said, regardless whether you're male or female, you're being represented as the Empress. And the Empress on top of she is so freaking, you know, abundant. She is pregnant with a lot of ideas, uh, creativity and all that. She is a very generous woman, okay? She's capable of giving love, affection. She's very generous. But the thing is, even though she's capable of giving love to others and affection and all that, she knows how to give back to herself. She doesn't settle for less, all right? And I feel this is the energy for you, group number one, for the month of October. You are more of like embracing the divine feminine energy because the empress is the divine feminine so yeah, strong feminine energy. So regardless whether you're male or female, in which you are also going to be realizing that, hey, you know what? As much as I am capable of giving love, attention, money to others, I should give something back to myself because I deserve it, all right? And a lot of you guys are also going to be open to receiving as well, receiving love from others, attention and all that. Because you know that this is what you also truly deserve. So yeah, there's something about the strong, divine, feminine energy. Also, um, being present for a lot of you guys who chose group number one. Let's pull up more. 
Oh gosh, I just noticed right now, this is number 4, and then you got number 44. So you might be seeing 444 a lot, which is also kind of about stability and security, by the way. So I feel this is also what you're after. You wanted something that is actually going to be secure, or you wanted to provide emotional, you know, um, security for yourself. That's really what I'm getting here as well. Yeah, you got feeling alone. My gosh. This is quite interesting. Now it's making sense. For some of you with this feeling alone card, this is the Five of Pentacles, which is a lack consciousness card. So maybe for a long time now, um, you might be actually, you know, feeling that you're lacking in something. All right. Either you're lacking in terms of money, goals, love, affection, whatever it is, because it's a general reading. Some of you are also feeling abandoned because you got your feeling alone because Five of Pentacles is also an abandonment card. But I feel that this energy is really going to be coming away because of this realization that a lot of you guys will be having. Some of you already did, okay, realize that. In which, why do I need to put my focus on the things that I don't have? I am abundant. That's really what I'm getting because you're the empress and it says here abundance, right? Which is the total opposite of the Five of Pentacles, which is talking about, again, um, you feeling that you're lacking in something. And so I feel this energy of lack is slowly being released for a lot of you as well. In which now, or sooner or later, in this month of October, you are going to feel full and whole again, okay? And that's going to happen because of, number one, you're going to be releasing something that is actually, you know, kind of like creating a blockage for you, whether it's the energy of lack or it's you actually feeling, you know, so sorry about yourself or that I don't have this, I don't have that. You're releasing that energy, I feel a lot of you are going to be, you know, coming back to yourself. You guys are going to be filling your own cup first, okay? And that you're going to be a lot more in this receiving energy that, hey, you know what? I also deserve to receive this time. I am capable of giving, but I also deserve to receive something. Whatever that is, my gosh. And a lot of you guys are also going to be releasing, like what I said, this energy of feeling as if you're alone, that there's actually no one out there for you, okay? That's actually just your mind telling you those things is what I'm hearing from spirit. There's something about you kind of like looking, you know, towards outside of yourself um, about this happiness that you're craving for when you're going to be realizing I can create happiness on my own. Why do I always need it to um, depend on others? I don't know who is that for, but I'm also hearing that. There's something about emotional dependence, and I feel this is part of what is going to be released as well starting this month of October for some of you, okay? All right, let's see what else. It is what it is. Message in a bottle. Delight. Details, details. Oh my gosh, this is very straightforward. 
Based on these cards, what I'm actually hearing from Spirit is this. Part of what you are also going to be releasing is the need to know everything, to know all the answers, okay? That's really what I'm getting. Uh, some of you might be kind of like waiting for something to happen with regards to a person or this message because you have a lot of cards around messages okay you got message in a bottle and for me if i read this intuitively we have this image of a bird and birds are messengers okay so i really feel some of you are also going to be realizing that there are some things that maybe um are not yet um ready to be revealed okay whether this is actually from an actual person that you have in your mind whether you're waiting for this person to open up to you or or to, um, yeah, express their feelings for you. Because, again, something is actually quite um, hidden. Or maybe this person, if it's a natural person, is not ready to open up to you yet. Or to reveal whatever it is that they've been feeling. And a lot of you guys are actually kind of like paying attention to the questions in your mind. Like, why? Why is this person not calling me up? Or why is this person not expressing their feelings for me? There's something around that as well. But I feel that regardless, a lot of you guys are going to be kind of like realizing that it is what it is. I don't need to overthink. I don't need to kind of like try to figure out everything and just pay attention to every details, right? Because the more that I actually do that, the more it's actually, you know, making me feel confused or it's actually making me feel really exhausted or drained. Because, yeah, no wonder I got the Seven of Cups. Because Seven of Cups is also talking about confusion. Like you're having a hard time figuring things out because you're paying attention more in the details, all right? Of why is this happening, what is this person thinking? Why is this person not, you know, opening up to me? Why is this person not reaching out to me? Things like that. There's something about messages. But I feel that you guys are really going to be realizing that I am just really going to accept things as they are. All right? I don't need to force things. Maybe the answer will be revealed in time. Maybe in time, things are going to be clear for me or it will be revealed to me. Instead of me, you know, trying to put my entire attention and focus on what is going on. Why is this happening? I don't know. I'm hearing that very strongly for someone out there. Okay. And so you are going to be realizing that it is what it is. There are some things that are not within my control. Or maybe this is not the perfect time yet for me to really, you know, get the answers that I'm seeking for. Maybe everything is going to make sense and the right time. That's another message I'm getting based on these four cards, all right? Let's see. Let's pull up more. Very interesting. Yeah, you got your discipline. You have universe. Discernment. And then compassion. Well, for group number one, this is really a period in which you guys are really going to be more careful with what you're planting in your thoughts, um, what energy you guys are actually in. Another thing that I'm seeing here based on these four cards is that a lot of you guys are also going to be trusting your own judgment or your own intuition about certain things, okay? Um, I feel that a lot of you guys are really going to be tapping into your own inner guidance as well this month of October, all right? I feel as well that this is a month in which you guys are also going to be um, not only compassionate with other people around you, but also within yourself. Because again, I'm really getting a very Empress energy for group number one, which is crazy because Empress is also a Libra card, not only Taurus. So 
it's crazy because October is also a Libra season. Regardless, even if you're not really, you know, um, having those signs and all that, it's the energy, all right? In which you are really going to be not only compassionate with others around you, but also with yourself. And on top of that, you're also going to be careful as well on what you're planting in your thoughts, in your mind, all right? And also, they're showing me here that you're going to be following your own discernment. What is right for you? What is not good for you? And the answer lies within you, group number one. That's what's also going to be making sense for you this month of October. That I do have the answers all along. It's right inside of me. I just really needed to trust it because I feel that some of you are not seeing it because your vision is actually clouded. That's really what I'm getting based on this image. But yeah, I feel that this is a period of awakening as well for group number one. A lot of things will be realized within you, okay? Or you will be realizing a lot of things um, this month of October. Okay, let's try to pull up more. Yeah, see, look at that, death. This death card is actually talking about discarding things that are actually not really healthy for you or not good for you anymore. No wonder you got what you need to release card, you got the decrease card. It's quite crazy because when we actually started the reading, that's the exact message I was hearing from the guides, okay? That this is the month in which you guys are really going to be letting go of things that are weighing heavily in your back. And now you got death card and it shows a woman she's cutting cords so for some of you it can be all right unhealthy habits because it says here what parts of you or your habits need changing so again it can be your unhealthy habits or it can also be some certain type of connections that are actually not really good for you anymore some of you are really going to be performing cord cutting as well all right. Wow. That is really interesting. This is so beautiful because I feel that for some of you, um, you might also be realizing that you're just being hard on yourself. Remember that message earlier in which some of you are going to be having this wake up call that why do I always need it to pay attention on the details or really, you know, getting the answers right away or finding out what is really going on? And that's why I got the it is what it is card. It's like there's some things that maybe it's not the right time yet for me to know these things, all right? That I should allow time or allow universe to reveal it to me. Because I feel some of you are going to be realizing that you're just being too hard on yourself, okay? And for some of you, I feel that your health is also, you know, being sacrificed. That's really what I'm picking up too. Some of you, the reason as to why you're actually going to be putting more um, focus on yourself or you're putting yourself as a top priority because you will be realizing that you've been neglecting your own physical or emotional health, right? So there's really something about you coming back to yourself. You're putting yourself first. You're doing what is actually necessary for you or beneficial for you. That's the energy as well. And for you to achieve that, there's definitely something that you will be discarding or releasing. That's why I got the death card. You are going to be cutting away something. With the scissors over here, you're going to be cutting away something. That is actually not good for you. Again, it depends. It's a general reading. So whether that's um, unhealthy habits, vices, um, negative thinking, lack consciousness. We also got that earlier. It depends since it's a general reading, okay? Wow, very interesting read so far, but let's pull up the tea leaf fortune cards. Let's see what else is in store for you this month of October. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, two cards about happiness. Interesting. Uh-huh. Oh 
Okay. All right. So based on these six cards, I'm actually getting here part of the dissatisfaction or what's making some of you feel really low or disappointed. I feel it can be around some things that you no longer have, okay? And I feel that you're still in this period of healing as well. Because um, you got the spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So I feel that that's what's making you feel dissatisfied. Whatever that is for you. It can be an actual person or what, okay? But this is what's making you feel um, dissatisfied. No wonder you got the lack consciousness card. And like what I said earlier, with the five of pentacles, um, some of you are actually realizing that you're putting more of your attention and focus on the things they don't have, all right? Which is putting you in a very low vibrational state. Because your entire focus are the things that I don't have at the moment, all right? So I really feel that part is actually going to be released soon. Because this is the month of you releasing yourself from something, all right? Negative habits, um, ways, or behavior, or it can also be, you know, some connections or things that are actually not really for your highest good. Because you're choosing your own happiness, group number one, okay? That's what they're showing me here. For some of you, there might be some issues around financial matters as well, all right? That's another... Um, message I'm getting from spirit, all right? You're going to the very bottom of things with a well card. I feel that you are really going to be realizing a lot this month of October, okay? Because you are going to be doing some sort of like a self-reflection or you're going to be really pondering or reflecting on the things that is making you feel dissatisfied in life or what are the things that needs to be released which is causing you a lot of um, stress a lot of anxiety that's really what I'm picking up okay because like what I said I feel that group number one you are going to be realizing something where the things they don't have anymore especially for those who are resonating with that, you know that it is what it is. I can't undo the things or I can't do about it anymore because things already happened, okay? I'm going to put my focus more on the present. I'm going to put my focus on the things that I can actually create. But for the things I don't have any control of anymore, most especially for the things I don't have anymore related to your past, I'm just going to let it be. That's really what I'm getting for group number one. Wow. This is so interesting. Let's pull up some tea leaf fortune cards, or rather the Chinese fortune cards for you to gather more information. Okay, you got proposal. So let's go to page 24. All right. Promising times await for lovers and singles. The time is ripe for love or a business commitment, so dress and press everywhere you go as true love or career success is close by. Again, it can be love. It can also be around business or career. All right? Only take what applies. It says here, if you've been thinking of changing career or you are in a dead-end job with no future, a proposal could land in your lap from out of the blue. Keep your eyes wide open to the astounding um, opportunities that are about to come your way. Be assertive and bold. Luck surrounds you. That's crazy. I even said some of you are actually going to be creating something. You're going to create opportunities as well for you. All right. Instead of actually waiting for opportunities to land in your lap. And that's crazy because that's exactly what it says here. A proposal could land in your lap. That word or those words land in your lap. That's freaking weird. Those are the messages I heard earlier. If you can go back to what was said earlier. And this is also what's written in here. And I can't make things up. 
Anyway, that's freaking weird. But yeah, regardless, anyway, I really feel that this is the month in which whether it's actually you changing careers, especially for those who are actually feeling stuck in their situation or that you may found yourself, you know, um, really in a dead end situation that there's no growth here anymore. There is a possibility of you getting um, a proposal or maybe there's going to be some opportunities coming along and this is the time for you to keep your eyes wide open or to seize that amazing opportunity. They're asking of you to be really assertive and confident or bold, okay? Now, for relationships, um, if you're single, you could actually fall madly in love, all right, this month of October, all right? Or there might be somebody who's actually kind of like interesting for you um, starting this month of October. Either you're back in the dating scene or you'll be meeting someone else, all right? Now, if you're already in a committed partnership, this is also a opportunity or a golden opportunity for some of you to get a proposal all right from your lover or from your um, partner especially if you're still committed to this person so yeah those are the things from the proposal card let's try to pull up some messages for you start off with this one and then we're just going to pull up some crystals, um, lucky days, or numbers plus affirmation before we wrap things up. But first, let's pull up some random messages for you guys. You got Guardian of Abundance. So let's read that. It says here, this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Are you freaking... This is exactly what we were just talking about. Like there's going to be some opportunities coming along that you need to seize, right? So yeah, unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. So yeah, be on the lookout for some opportunities as well, group number one, okay? Some of you, you're going to be realizing that I don't need to wait for opportunities come along. I'll be the one to create it, okay? That's really the energy as well that I'm getting for some of you. Let's pull up another message. Let's try this one. Oops, some of the cards got mixed up. There you go. Cycles. Okay. It says here, everything has its right time. Are you freaking kidding me? We were just talking about that too earlier. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune in to the moon's magic. Wow. So I really feel with the cycles card, group number one, and we saw the death card earlier where there's actually a lady, you know, cutting cords. I feel that some of you are really ready to... Cut some old patterns, all right? Because you got cycles. That's really, really strong. A lot of you are really going to be realizing that I needed to embrace a brand new beginning. I wanted to be doing things totally different. I don't know why I'm getting that. So whether it's you really, you know, shifting careers, because there's a lot of message around that. Others of you, um, something that you felt is really not good for you anymore, like, I don't want to be in the same, you know, cycle. I need to cut some, you know, patterns or repeating cycles that are actually not really beneficial for me. That's really the strongest energy I'm getting for a lot of you chose group number one. But this is also a message for a lot of you to just honor the cycles, right? Think of a caterpillar. You can't expect for the caterpillar to become a butterfly the next day right? It has to go through some process, metamorphosis, or some cycles, right? So I feel this is a message for some of you to be patient and that everything has its own time. Remember the message that I actually heard from Spirit earlier in which instead of always putting your focus on the details of when is this person actually coming back? That's just an example, okay? Or why is this person not talking to me? When is this person going to call me, you know? 
that's why I got the it is what it is card in which you're just letting things be. Okay, I don't need to kind of like be too hard on myself trying to figure things out, all right? Um, and I would just trust that everything will be revealed in time. And that's exactly what it says here. Everything has its right time. Honor it. Trust it. But yeah, for some of you, you are going to be, you know, some... Yeah, some of you are going to be putting an end to some negative cy cycles or patterns. That's really the energy I'm getting as well for group number one. Because you wanted to grow, all right? You wanted to embrace a different type of energy. A lot of you guys are going to be choosing your own happiness. You're choosing yourself. You're putting yourself first this time, okay? Quite interesting, because that's actually, you know, the message that my guides wanted me to post on my community page this week. So if you can look that up, it's actually um, also um, posted in my community community page. So if you can look that up, that's quite interesting, too, because that's really the message I'm getting here for you guys for the month of October. OK, so anywho, let's actually pull up first. Your lucky days, numbers, or any other messages from spirit. Okay, you have the number 12. So maybe there's something about the number 12 for you guys. It can be 12 days, 12 weeks. It can be a Sagittarius as well, all right? Find a new meaning, so I feel this is it. You guys are actually kind of like on the lookout for, you know, something that will really make you happy something that would actually make you feel that it's worth it i don't know i'm also getting that there's also something about the number nine nine weeks or nine days Ooh, you got number one it is almost going too fast, it says here. So maybe it's about time for you two guys to slow down and honor the present moment. No wonder you got everything, you know, happens in the right time. So yeah, so just be patient with yourself. And there's something about one week as well for some of you. You also got the sign Leo. You might be a Leo as well. Release the power of your heart. So yeah, there's a lot of keywords around release for group number one, I notice, right? You even got the card, what do you need to release? So, yeah, I really feel group number one, this is a month in which you guys are really, you know, going to be putting an end to something or you're going to be courageous enough to release something so you can actually grow something new as well. All right. Um, you have to close old doors before you can welcome or open a new one. So I feel that's more like the energy for you this month of October. Okay. There's something about five weeks as well or five days or what. But yeah, those are the numbers, number 12, 1, 5, and 9. That can actually make sense for some of you. Now, let's actually pull up your crystal of the month that you can work with. All right, you actually got two. Hmm, let's start off with this one. It says here, snake skin, agate, strength, privacy, self-love. What the freak? Well, that's also the energy for you guys this month of October, right? You're putting yourself first. You're putting yourself as a top priority. My gosh. And that's why I said a lot of you guys might want to check out the community page because this week, that's the message I kept on hearing from my guides um, for me to post something around putting yourself first, all right? Depending on your own power as well. So, yeah, that's crazy. But anyway, let's read this. It says here, being comfortable in your own skin takes time. And snakeskin agate helps boost self-esteem and self-awareness. So you can just do that. Snakeskin agate gives you the confidence to step outside of your comfort zone and explore new aspects of yourself all within your discretion. Snakeskin agate can blend in with a crowd, so if you don't want to be seen and wish to carry on with your activities in peace, this is the stone for you. Snakeskin agate is able to facilitate a kundalini rising and encourages full embodiment of self. So if you're actually resonating with this type of crystal, you can work with this. All right. Next, you got here fluorite. 
And it says, organization, clear priorities. Structure can provide freedom, and Florate helps organize your life from top to bottom, heightening focus and releasing unnecessary stress. Florate assists with bringing clarity into your life, lifting your mental capabilities for crystal clear intuition and empowered decision making. By taking your discernment up a notch, Florate protects against bad influences and psychic manipulation. Fluoride both grounds and lifts your energy, connecting your body to the earth and to higher spiritual awareness at the same time. Prioritize balance. So again, if you're resonating with that crystal, this is something they can work with for the month of October. Either snakeskin agate or fluoride. So before we wrap things up, let's get an affirmation as well they can work with for this month. You got two. First, it's spiritual health, and it says here, I notice the beauty of nature every day, and it feeds my soul in delightful and delicious ways. Wow. So there's really something about cycle for you guys, because I'm drawn to the moon over here, okay? And just appreciating the moment. That's the energy I'm getting based on this affirmation, all right? Because it says here, I notice the beauty of nature every day. And it feeds my soul in delightful and delicious ways. So being the moment, embracing the moment, enjoying the moment. That's really the energy I'm getting from this affirmation. And then you got another spiritual health affirmation card. So let's read it. I am open and receptive to the healing power of divine love. What the freak? Bingo. What did I tell you guys? Because that's what I heard from the guides. Remember earlier, I was talking about a lot of you guys who chose group number one, whether you're male or female, you are going to be embracing the divine feminine energy in which you are also open to receive love. And now it says here, I am open and receptive to the healing power of divine love and not just love. You guys are really going to be open basically to receive since you're capable of giving this time you're actually going to be realizing that, hey, you know what? I also deserve to receive. So I'm opening myself now to receive, whether it's love, attention, blessings, whatever, okay? And that's the divine feminine energy because the divine feminine energy is all about receiving. Whereas divine masculine is more about doing, you know, action, so, wow, this is so freaking amazing for group number one. That's it for you guys. I totally wish you a blessed October. And again, happy birthday to Libra. And also, later part of October anyway, it's moving towards Scorpio as well. So, happy birthday both Libra and Scorpio. I'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Okay, Ocean Jasper, let's uncover what's in store for you this month of October. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which shows group number two. All right, we have here six of cups. Next, you have here nine of cups. Oh my gosh. Then we have Ten of Cups. This is so freaking beautiful. From the Nine to the Ten. Wow. We have Nine of Pentacles. You have Knight of Swords. And you have strength. Bottom of the deck, you have page of wands. Wow. Okay, so I'm actually seeing here a lot of water signs. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We also have here fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially Leo. And then we have swords, energies, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. So, group number two, what's in store for you this month of October? This is really beautiful, all right? It's a totally different energy, okay? 
I'm hearing a lot of messages as well, so only take what applies. The most obvious message I'm seeing here for you guys is that this month of October is a month in which you're really, really going to be so freaking happy. And that's because of your wish is finally, you know, coming or that your wish is being granted, whatever that is. OK, whether it's actually related to um, your love life, because I'm seeing that, especially with the six of cups, I'm actually hearing very strongly. There is a possibility for some of you um, to reunite with somebody from your past. OK, which will really make you happy. I feel that this person is actually going to be sending you a message or will actually actually open up and if you notice I suddenly lost my voice that's crazy yeah because I was just about to say as I'm looking into the strength card it shows here this net and this merman actually opened this huge net and there's a lot of fishes coming out of that net and that's actually the energy I'm getting because strength card is also talking about restrictions all right so I really feel that maybe whoever this is this person is ready to open up just like what this merman did all right so I really feel there's something about um conversations um happening for group number two between you and this person from your past maybe you haven't talked to this person for a long time and you've been wishing for this time to come that this person is actually going to be reaching out because i'm getting that all right very strongly and then for others of you if you're not resonating with a person from your past there is a possibility for the singles out there but it's all about love right in which you are actually going to be yeah meeting someone all right this month of october all right in which this person is from your past life that was so strong as well and i feel that you will actually enjoy the company of this person because there's that feeling of you and this person connecting on a very emotional space that was so strong as well like this person's really going to be open towards you um or this person's actually not going to be holding back their feelings that's the energy i'm getting okay Another message I'm picking up, not necessarily love life, but I'm actually getting here that when it comes to your career, when it comes to your business, be prepared because I really feel that this is also the month in which there's going to be a lot of ideas pouring in. All right. Your creativity is really going to be heightened this month of October. And I'm also seeing here that money is really going to be good for you guys. All right. There's really going to be um, a lot of satisfaction around your financial area and then for some of you i'm also hearing very strongly that this is a month in which a lot of you are really going to be reflecting upon your situation and then you are going to be realizing how blessed you are this is a month in which you're really going to be reflecting back into all the things that you've been experiencing or everything that has been happening for you and then you're going to tell yourself you know what i'm actually really blessed that's another thing that i'm actually hearing very strongly for some of you and yeah I'm also hearing very strongly that for the month of October there is also a possibility of you guys being more open to try out something new out there all right maybe you will be in this energy of I wanted to you know pursue something that I haven't tried before I wanted to try out new things that I haven't tried before I wanted to explore I wanted to experience um, something that is actually quite exciting that's another message I'm hearing for some of you watching group number two so yeah there's tons of messages honestly but there's a huge possibility for some of you guys to be reuniting or getting a message from a past person now not necessarily this is all about love okay or it's a romantic partner it can also be just a person you haven't talked to for a long time all right and yeah there's a possible reunion between you and this individual which will really make you happy my gosh, and there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication is really what I'm hearing, okay? So only take what applies. Guys, you have a lot of messages. So yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards here for you. Okay, show the world the real you. Oh, okay. No wonder you got the strength card. Now this can be the viewer. 
Gallery, in which some of you are also going to be opening up. You guys are really going to be comfortable enough to really show the real you. There's something about authenticity as well. Or it can just be, you know, that person. Because I'm really picking up for group number two that there's a possibility of somebody around you is really going to be um, willing to open up or release whatever it is that they have been holding back for a long time. Okay, just like with this merman over here, he opened this huge net and there's a lot of fishes coming out. So there's something about that energy for group number two, whether this is you, okay, that you're ready to release those pent up feelings or emotions, or it can just be, you know, somebody around you. Somebody's actually ready to show the real them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, even with this show the world the real you where she actually just pour in or yeah she actually just um yeah pour this huge jar of water all right there's a lot of release that's really what i'm picking up kind of like a similar energy with this card over here so yeah maybe somebody's actually ready to pour their feelings their emotions or what if this is not you let's try to pull it more The loving woman. Mm hmm. You got the serving. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's pull up one last card first. And you have the world. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing for group number two. You got the loving woman deserving the world. What I actually heard very strongly based on these cards is that number one, for some of you, because this is a people card, there can be a person. It can be switch. It can be a man. It can be a woman or whatsoever. All right. Um, but I'm actually getting here that there's actually somebody out there who's finally with the world. World is completion. All right. I feel that somebody's finally ready. All right. To kind of like open up or kind of like release what they've been holding back. All right. This can also be the viewer. It can also be you. You're ready to open up. You're ready to um, embrace your authenticity. Or you're actually not going to be afraid to show the real you. That's another possibility for some of you. And then others of you, what I'm also hearing very strongly is that, yeah, it can be another person who's really going to be expressing themselves towards you. Because this person is actually seeing you as the loving woman, all right? And that this person actually sees you as if that you have everything with the world, all right? You really complete this person. That's really what I'm hearing, okay? So whether this is a person from your past, or it can also be somebody that you've been dating for quite some time, all right? There's something about opening up very, very strongly for group number two. And then lastly, what I also heard is that a lot of you guys are really going to be um, courageous enough to shine. That's really what I'm picking up. You got the deserving card. This is the energy that you are going to be embracing that, hey, you know what? I deserve love. I actually, you know, deserve affection and attention as well. So it's like you're ready to show yourself out there. You're ready to shine. You won't care about what other people are actually saying or thinking. There's also that kind of energy as well for group number two. All right. You're going to be embracing your true self. And by embracing your true self, you really don't care anymore what people are going to say or think, all right? I don't know. I'm getting that very strongly as well for some of you who are watching group number two. You're actually recognizing um, your power. That's another message I'm hearing, all right? You're ready to soar. You're ready to shine and show yourself out there, all right? Because you're meant to do that. Wow. So again, there's a lot of messages I noticed for group number two, maybe because there's a lot of people who chose group number two as well. That's why there's mixed messages and I have to deliver all of them because not everybody's going to be resonating with one specific message. So yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. You have shine. Oh my gosh. See, I told you you're ready to shine. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was talking about. And look at that, all right? Look at this lady over here, all right? She just freed herself from something. 
That's really the energy I'm getting. Like she released something from her solar plexus. All right. So um, it can be number one. If this is not you, because I'm also picking that up for group number two, somebody will be doing that. Somebody will be courageous and confident enough because this is the sun card and sun is also tied about confidence. Okay. So somebody is actually going to be confident enough to open up or to release what they've been holding back. Wow. And it can be in the form of um, conversations in which this person is going to be pouring their feelings and emotions or they're going to be talking to you. Okay. Others of you, this is you who's going to be doing that. So only take what applies. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. And then it says your shine. So like what I was just talking about earlier, some of you are going to be confident enough to show yourself out there and just be yourself, all right? Like, what the heck? I can't please everybody, all right? But I know I'm actually deserving. I know that I'm actually a good person or that I'm actually a successful person. So why am I hiding my talents, my gifts, my abilities? There's something about that as well for group number two. Because you're meant to shine. Just like what I said. And now we got the shine card. That's crazy. All right, let's see what else. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I really love the energy for group number two, honestly. Okay. It's a totally different energy. So this month is a month in which you guys are really, really going to be so freaking happy. Okay. Um, remember, you got the 10 of cups. You even got the nine of cups, which is talking about wish, right? So something will happen this month of October for a lot of you guys in which you're really going to be feeling so ecstatic or really so happy, okay, about how things are, all right? Whether it's because of you're finally getting this wish or you're finally, you know, reuniting with someone, whatever, okay? Because it's a general reading. But yeah. This is a month in which you're really going to feel so freaking positive and happy because even with the sun card, sun is also the most positive card in the tarot, right? So I really feel that something will occur this month for you guys um, in which you're really going to feel so excited, so happy. All right, let's try to pull up more. Yeah, you got mending. All right. So maybe healing is actually taking place. All right. For some of you, this mending card, if this is about you and another person in which you guys are really going to be, you know, fixing some issues or fixing some things together, because that's actually what I'm hearing. There's also a possibility of reconciliation. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing here that there's really going to be some peaceful resolution or some healing taking place in your situation with another person or it can just be you all right you're healing from something all right you're actually finally you know feeling renewed again all right you're embracing positivity in your life again you're feeling a lot more happy now maybe you've been in this period of darkness all right or you're actually healing from something that is actually really um traumatic that's another possibility all right but yeah when you take what applies for some of you this is what's also going to be taking place in which there is going to be um a healing in your connection with somebody um who's going to be reconnecting with you um group number two all right let's see what else oh my gosh wow look at that success Ooh. and then you have solitude mm-hmm so there's actually a lot of reflection taking place as well um, for group number two. That's another energy I'm getting for you guys for the month of October. A lot of you guys are also going to be reflecting on the past. Um, that's another possibility. If you're not resonating with that message, there is going to be an opportunity for you to reflect back on what has happened to you in the past, okay? In which you are finally, you know, healing from it. You're releasing some old events, old hurts. And you wanted to embrace happiness this time. You wanted to embrace positivity in your life. Wow. That's another thing that I'm seeing here. And with this success card, you will be successful at it. All right. Even with this, you know, energy of you healing yourself or healing the connection, it's going to turn out to be a success. That's why it's, it's really going to spell happiness for you. 
And then I'm also drawn to this image over here where there's a Black Panther kind of like spying or looking. I don't know. I just suddenly got that vibe or message that for some of you, if this is actually another person, maybe this person is just, you know, watching you, all right? Or is just looking for that perfect opportunity to reach out or to talk to you. I don't know. I'm really getting that very, very strongly as well. So, yeah, let's see what else. Yeah, okay, you got the goblins. You have, oh my gosh, healing the heart. A lot of healing. You got the mending card, right? And I notice you keep on getting the number five. This is number 23. If you add that up, that's number five. And then you got the goblins card. It's also number five. Wow. So you might be seeing that very often. You also got here um, sacrifice or the hangman. Okay. Okay, you have extremes, mm -hmm. and you have wisdom. Okay, wow, I'm actually hearing a lot of specific messages, but we'll get to that. Let's put it in a very general way, okay? What I'm actually hearing based on these cards, number one, okay? For those who are resonating with, you may have dealt with a very traumatic experience with people. I'm actually hearing people, all right? Um, it can be a recent event in which you've dealt with a lot of toxicity, for instance, in your workplace or some people that you've dealt with, all right? Um, I feel that you're still in this period of recovery or you're still healing from it. But what's amazing is that since you are also going to be realizing, if you're not realizing this now, of course, this is going to happen this month of October, in which you're realizing that everything happened for a reason, okay? Yeah, that even though the situation that occurred for you was really traumatic, it was really, you know, heavy, um, maybe those people were really toxic and all that, you are going to be seeing things from a different perspective with a hangman card over here. All right. Maybe in the past, you may have looked at it differently. All right. Or you may have looked at the negative side of things and then you're missing out. What is it teaching you with the wisdom card over here? And I feel this time, this is what you're going to be looking into. That, yes, it was a very negative experience. All right. It was really, really toxic. But maybe I'm actually just looking at the heavy experience. Maybe I'm just looking at the negative side of things. Maybe this time I need to look into what is it teaching me as well? What am I learning from that experience, right? Remember earlier, that was the message in which some of you, as part of your healing, all right, you are going to be embracing happiness. You're actually going to be a lot more positive, all right? You're releasing, you know, some things that you know you don't have any control of anymore, or maybe this is it. You are releasing, you know, something that may have hurt you over the past, all right? Because you're realizing that it's just part of your journey. It's actually, you know, um, part of my soul's growth. And I'm learning from it, all right? Instead of just looking at it um, in such a way that, oh, I, I'm just really, you know, pissed off at what those people did to me or what that person did to me. That's going to be a different thing if you're always going to be, you know, putting your focus there. Whereas if you try to kind of like see things from a different lens, like, yeah, it sucks. It's really crazy. I've dealt with those type of people, but maybe it's just teaching me on how to handle the situation effectively. All right. So yeah, there's something about that for group number two. Others of you, what I'm actually picking up is that you may be dealing with, I keep on hearing Leo and um, Pisces. Okay. I don't know who's this for. So it can be you or it can be the person that you're dealing with as well. All right. There's also something about that. Like, like either you're learning from this experience with those two signs, all right? I don't know. That was so, so strong as well. But I'm also picking up very strongly as well that there is a possibility of you resolving any conflicts from a past person, 
All right. Maybe it's been a while that you haven't seen this person. You haven't talked to this person, but there's a possibility of you and this person kind of like, yeah, trying to mend things or heal things. All right. Or heal the situation. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, a lot of messages really for group number two. Some of them are so freaking, you know, specific. Anyway, let's try to move on to the next set of cards. Ascension, ooh. And uniqueness, right? I love how everything is matching, you guys. And I'll tell you why. Okay, let's actually start off first with uniqueness. It says here, unique, perfect self-honor. Remember the message for group number two, in which you guys are actually also going to be um, embracing yourself, your authenticity. You're coming back to yourself. Um, you guys are really going to be discovering how amazing you are. No kidding. All right. Maybe you always kind of like um, have seen yourself in a different way or a not so good way. Some of you are just basically afraid of being judged. I keep on hearing that as well. But this is a month in which you guys are really going to embracing your true self. You're going to kind of like um, really try to tell yourself that, hey, I'm a unique individual. I'm also special. All right. And so there's something about you embracing yourself. Embracing your own uniqueness. They so you don't have to compare yourself even to other people. You're just going to be yourself. Though that's actually the reason as why I'm also getting here that a lot of you guys are really going to be bringing out the real you or showing the real you. Okay? Because you're not afraid anymore to show your true self. Because you're realizing that you're just a unique individual. Just like anybody else out there. Right? So you're honoring yourself. And I feel as well that for some of you with this ascension, you have a lot of repeating numbers, group number two. On top of number five, you might be seeing the number three as well quite often because this is number 12 and that is number three. You got 33 over here. So yeah, I feel as well that for some of you, this month of October, um, you guys are also going to be um, feeling the support more, you know, like really powerful support this time with the people around you all right that's another message i'm hearing from spirit as you actually embrace your true self it's like you are going to be attracting um people who are aligned to who you are i don't know i'm hearing that as well and then others of you you got the ascension so it says here spiritual support um oneness guides so i feel that yeah your guides are also kind of like you know trying to lead you to the right path or maybe your guides are actually kind of like um leading you to do something about your situation so pay attention to those signs that you might be receiving whether it's repeating numbers because you've got tons of repeating numbers and if i read this intuitively as well i'm also getting here that you might be in this dark period since you're healing all right from something that is traumatic i feel that your guides are also kind of like you know showing you a lot of support you may not see them or what but they're actually around you and they're kind of like encouraging for you to stay optimistic as you got the sun card to stay positive because they're saying that this period is soon going to be over and that you have to believe in miracles. You have to stay optimistic about the situation. This is just something temporary is actually what I'm hearing. Some of you can be some issues around your career. That's another message I got. All right. So, yeah, let's pull up more. What's in store for group number two this month of October? Ooh, okay. You have body. See, I told you, group number two, this is a month in which there's going to be a lot of self-reflection. Okay, a lot of contemplation. It says here, what parts of you do you need to look at more closely? What's functioning or not functioning in these areas of your life? So I really feel this is a month in which you're really looking closely at yourself, right? And maybe this is going to push you to do things differently, or to change the way you see yourself, just like what I said less than a minute ago, right? Because you're going to embrace your true self. And you're going to be realizing just by looking at the mirror, you're looking at your own reflection, that this is who I truly am. Why do I keep on seeing myself differently? There's something about that. There's something about you dropping off any insecurities that you may have. 
I don't know. I really heard that very strongly as well. Some of you are also going to be so much conscious about um, your body or that maybe you are actually, you know, kind of like wanting to glow up. And that's great if you are actually thinking of, yeah, either doing some things that would improve your um, physical appearance or what. I don't know. I'm hearing that very strongly. I'm even hearing somebody is kind of like thinking of undergoing some sort of like a surgery. This is crazy. I just heard that right now. If this is what you want, all right? If this is what you feel like doing, go for it, okay? But always remember that beauty is just on the outside. What matters is really on the inside, okay? I don't know. I just heard that for someone out there. But it's not to say that you shouldn't actually pursue that. If this is really what you want, this is your body anyway, go for it. If this is really going to make you feel confident, go for it, right? But yeah, there's also that energy. And again, number five changes. You keep on getting the number five, really. So I really feel that for some of you, there's going to be some sort of like change in appearance. Either some of you are going to be, yeah, doing some makeover. Because I even heard surgery, honestly, cosmetic surgery or what? I don't know what type of surgery, but I really heard that. Somebody's going under the knife. <laughs> that was so strong. Like you wanted to really, you know, kind of like try out something else or what to improve yourself, how you appear to be or what or your appearance. Yeah. But again, do what feels right for you. Do what makes you happy. All right. Because this is actually the month in which you're looking after your own happiness. Group number two. If you notice that as well, all right? With some of you, if it's not necessarily about appearance, like physical appearance and all that, a lot of you guys are going to be contemplating about some parts of yourself that, you know, you probably were not able to look into, all right? Um, some of you are also going to be, you know, um, putting your focus as well on the things that are probably not functioning in your life anymore and that maybe you need to drop this off. You need to release this. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I really love the energy of group two's reading, honestly, because I feel that you're in the path towards, you know, seeing some changes in your life. All right. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. Yeah, an exciting event. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so straightforward. So for group number two, I notice there's a lot of cards around friendships, okay? So I'm actually picking up as well that for some of you viewers of group number two, either of you will be receiving some amazing news from a friend, okay? That was so strong as well. Maybe you haven't talked to this friend for a long time, or maybe, you know, something happened, you weren't able to catch up or talk about some things. I don't know. But some of you you might be also getting some sound advice from a good friend, okay? That's also the message I'm getting for group number two, especially if you've been going through a lot and all that. I feel that there's really going to be an opportunity for you to get some sound advice or great advice from a friend that you really trust, okay? Or some of you are really going to be just, you know, um, having this reunion or you might be hearing something from a person from your past, whether it's a friend, a lover or what. But it's something that's really going to make you feel so freaking excited. OK, another thing that I'm also getting here with the crown. Remember that you guys are really going to be embracing yourself. All right. You're going to honor your uniqueness. And by doing so. I really feel that you're going to be seeing some positive changes afterwards because since you are embracing your true self, you're actually embracing your own uniqueness. You're coming back to your true self and all that. I feel that you are going to be seeing some positive, you know, um, changes as well with the people around you how they're going to be seeing you. There's something about that. Since you're working on yourself, since you're loving yourself more, you're respecting yourself more, you would actually, you know, um, 
be seeing or you will be seeing some really amazing, you know, feedback or um, you would actually be, you know, feeling that the way that people see you or the way that people are going to be treating you is going to be different because of the changes that you have made within yourself. That was so strong as well. No wonder you keep on getting the number five, okay? So, yeah, this is quite interesting. I really, really love um, your reading group number two. So expect some good news that would really make you happy, whatever this is. For some of you, it can be work-related. That is so strong, too. Or it can be that this good news is coming from um, a friend they haven't heard for a long time. Or it can also be, you know, from a lover. Who knows? Because I'm also seeing um, reconciliation happening for some of you, not all of you. All right, so let's get some Chinese fortune reading card. That was so fast. You got hope. Okay, so let's read that. Let's go to page 32. Okay, let's see here. Newfound hope, making changes, goals coming to fruition. That's crazy. Again, the word change. No kidding. It says here, making changes. So there's a lot of change. And yeah, look at this, 32 again. My gosh, maybe there's something about 32 for some of you. Or if you add that up, again, five, right? Five is the number of changes. And it says you're making changes. My gosh. And even that um, message that I actually heard for someone watching group number two, in which you're really thinking of um, doing things differently, like you wanted to reinvent yourself. Some of you are also going to be confident enough to kind of like, yeah, undergo some makeover. That was so strong too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. But anyway, it says here, hope is exactly what you need to embrace now. You've gained a lot of wisdom through life's recent experiences and you're ready to embrace your next chapter. Bingo! That's exactly what I was talking about. Some of you are really going to be realizing that, yeah, maybe those past, you know, events that are actually really heavy, all right? It's something that has just taught me a lot, all right? And I'm now ready to embrace a brand new chapter of my life. I can't just look back over the past anymore, right? I'm just going to look back over the past um, as something of a lesson for me that I will be carrying, you know, forward um, into my next chapter. That's really what I'm getting here. And it says here, too, you will be more adaptable to change and more decisive than before. So expansion and personal growth is very likely for group number two as well. Wow. Now, this is all about career. See, I told you, this is a highly creative time. Oh, my gosh. That's exactly what I heard for group number two. Remember, that was the message for you as well, for some of you viewers, in which your creativity is also going to be so heightened this month of October. So yeah, some of you are really going to be feeling enthusiastic. There's that, you know, new energy flowing in for you guys this month of October. All right. And you're just basically, you know, ready for any changes or ready to take action like never before. Wow. And then for some of you, I'm also hearing that maybe you just move to a different, you know, type of job. I don't know who is this for, but I just heard that right now. For those who are resonating with, yes, I've changed jobs. Um, you would be, you know, feeling so much enthusiastic. Like, wow, I'm so glad that I made that move. I'm feeling, you know, really excited right now. Because again, your energy group number two is all about growth and expansion. Maybe you're actually kind of like sick and tired of, you know, doing the same things over and over again, or that you are probably not feeling satisfied with how things are in your career back then. So maybe that's actually what pushed you to try out something new. That's really the energy for you, group number two, okay? And yeah, you would actually feel so happy and excited um, this month of October because of this element of newness taking place in your life. Now, if it's all about relationships, either you will feel the need or you will find the need rather to be around new people. Maybe you're, you're actually also going to be excited to meet new people out there, all right? Either you are also going to be, you know, traveling and, um, yeah, and you will be meeting new friends as you travel. I don't know. I'm getting that as well. Now, if it's all about love, then maybe there is a possibility of you meeting someone as well, especially if you're more open now to meet other opportunities or potential partners out there. Some of you, this person might be living at a distance from you. That's another message. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, but since he got the word hope, this is a message for group number two, not to lose any hope. Remember that when we saw that, um, let me go back. Yeah, Th these two cards, because that's a message I got when I saw these two cards. For those who are actually, you know, feeling very much challenged in their situation, you're going through this dark period. That's a message that I actually heard from your spirit team. The first and foremost, they're actually around you. So don't give up hope. That's why I got the hope card. Stay optimistic. Believe in miracles. Because rainbows is actually talking about um, miracles or new beginnings. So yeah, just stay hopeful. Stay positive. That's why I got the sun card. And um, yeah, I really am so happy for some amazing changes that are about to take place for you, group number two. All right. It's a totally different energy from group number one. So, yeah, really great reading so far. And so before we wrap things up, I'm going to be pulling up some messages plus some crystals they can work with. Lucky days, maybe lucky numbers, as well as affirmations. But let's start off first with random messages for you guys. Any message for group number two, please? You got three of action. Things are working out beautifully. Oh my gosh. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We were just talking about travel. Because that's actually what was written as well on the hope card. That for some of you, either you are wanting to try out something new. Either meeting new people out there, all right? It's not to say that you're bored with the people that you're associating with or that you are close with. Maybe, you know, there's that um, energy of you wanting to explore, wanting to try out, you know, new things, exciting things. Whether it's actually meeting new people out there or meeting this potential partner or you moving to a different location because you wanted to experience something, you know, new and exciting. That's really the energy for your group number two, okay? But yeah, there's something about travel. So some of you are going to be really traveling this month of October, all right? Or some of you are going to be moving to a different location as well, all right? Oh my gosh, this is so freaking amazing. All right, let's pull up another message over here. Let's see what else. Okay, you got two cards. You have innocence. And it says here, take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. So yeah, that's another message for you, group number two. Maybe there's um, a reason as to why there's a lot of happiness card. Your guys wanted you, you know, to... Not to say that you shouldn't take life so seriously, but just create a balance, all right? Take some time to play. Take some time to embrace your inner child, you know? Be fun. Be happy. Go out there. Do the things that makes you feel so freaking happy. That's actually what I'm getting here as well, all right? Um, and then you got friendship. Are you freaking kidding me? That's crazy. We were just talking about that. Remember the messages earlier that for some of you, either you are going to be open to meet new friends or to meet new people out there. Or for some of you, not necessarily you're going to be doing that, but maybe there is something about friendship as well for group number two. Either you will be um, getting a message from a friend that you haven't heard from for a long time. That's another possibility. But let's read your friendship card. It says here, seek out your soul family oh my gosh oh my gosh surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing so maybe group number two this is a month in which you'll be spending a lot of time socializing with different people all right oh my gosh yeah because libra season right and librans they're actually you know very sociable friendly they're everybody's friend, all right? Almost all of the Librans that I actually know, all right? Like, they really wanted to be friends with everybody. They kept on socializing with different people. 
So you don't have to be a Libra um, to be, you know, doing that, right? So I feel that um, this month of October is a time in which you guys are really going to be, you know, busy. You guys are really going to be spending your time meeting, you know, different people out there, socializing and all that, um, trying out different things, different possibilities, all right? And then, yeah, there's a message of you seeking out your soul family, right? Where you truly belong, your soul tribe. So yeah, I feel that for some of you, no kidding you guys. I feel that somebody watching group number two will be traveling and then you would bump into this person or these people. Especially if it's actually a friend or some friends, alright? Which is part of your soul tribe. Yeah, but this is also a message for you guys to really surround yourself with positive people. That's so freaking true. That's why I always say in my, you know, channel, if you can actually take a look at one of those um, audios that I did years ago, um, Law of Association, it's really important that you pay attention as well to the people that you're actually hanging out with, all right? Are they bringing out the best in you? Are they fanning your flames, all right? It's very important that you really surround yourself with people who are going to lift you higher, all right? Because if you always surround yourself with people who's going to drain you, oh my gosh. Yeah, you would feel exhausted as well. Or toxic people. There's something about that. No wonder you got the Goblins card. So some of you may have actually dealt with a lot of toxic people recently. All right. Or that you were surrounded with not so good people. Bad influences even or what. Yeah, there's something about that. All right. So be mindful of who you spend your time and energy with, group number two. That's another message for you. Yeah. Honestly, I tell you, I can really share a lot about friendships. <laughs> I've had a lot of, you know, experiences around that in which, unfortunately, all right, they um, turned out not to be really good friends. Okay, um, but that's a long story. I don't want to go there. <laughs> but anyway, it's really important that you really try to seek out your true friends, you know, especially those who are really going to be there for you during your darkest times. All right, because that's really true. I notice the people who are really there with you during your darkest periods are the ones that really, you know, somebody that you can rely on, somebody who's really going to be um, there to support you no matter what. Yeah, because some people, whenever you are going through something dark or something really heavy, you may notice that they're actually either running away from the situation, they're not talking to you, or that they're kind of like not paying attention, you know, to whatever it is that you're sharing or um, telling them. Yeah, that's a red flag. I've encountered a lot of people who are like that, you know, in which you can count on them during happy times, you know, fun, crazy stuff. But every time, you know, something is actually going on, you would notice that they won't really be paying, you know, attention to what you're going through or that they're suddenly MIA. I don't know. But anyway, let's actually pull up some lucky numbers for you guys or lucky days, whatever. Let's see. Okay, number six, enjoy time. So this is really the month for you to enjoy. Come on, enjoy your time. Have fun. Embrace your inner child. On top of number five, we keep on getting number six as well. And number three, by the way. Okay, lucky day, Thursday. Follow your energy, take a stand. That's the message for you. Gemini, search for exchange. So you might be a Gemini as well. And maybe this is actually what you wanted. You are looking for something um, that will bring you that beautiful exchange of energy. All right. And then Sagittarius as well. So yeah, in terms of numbers, it is number six number four it can still be number five you keep on getting number five earlier number nine and number three and then maybe you may have gemini and sagittarius as well in your chart there's also something about six days six weeks three weeks or nine weeks okay so yeah let's see let's try to pull up the crystal they can work with Ooh, 
Okay, let's see what card that was. Actually got three crystals. Okay. Yeah, let's start off with this. Agate. Stability, grounding, and truth. A stabilizing stone. Agate is used to balance the mind, body, and spirit, creating harmony in all areas of your life, much like the patterns on the crystal itself. Grounding and supportive. Agate helps to reveal inner truths, cleansing beneath the surface to expose your authentic self. Are you freaking kidding me? We were just talking about authenticity. What the freak, man? So there you go. If you're really resonating with that, you can work with agate. Oh my gosh. A wonderful stone to heal resentment. Agate frees you from the self-imprisonment of inner anger, replacing it with safety and security. Agate takes its time, vibrating at a slow and steady pace, and encourages you to take as much time as you need for the matter at hand. Okay, so yeah, there you go. That's one of the crystals you can work with for the month of October. Another crystal, red jasper, right? Justice, strength, stability. Red jasper works closely with the base chakra and heals any wounds surrounding injustice, grounding you back to the earth. Red jasper alleviates chronic worry, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. Working with the base chakra, red jasper can also help heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways. Providing stability and protection, red jasper balances yin and yang, expressing masculine and feminine energy energies that feel safe yet nourished okay there's also something about red jasper for some of you guys about base chakra too all right and then you got tree agate oh my gosh you keep on getting agate you guys so you can really work with this crystal it says here stability grounding and root if you notice you have a lot of cards about grounding okay so, yeah, this is something that you can really, you know, work with for the month of October. Um, there's something about grounding, coming back to yourself, you know. Um, yeah, I love how everything is matching, you guys. But anyway, let's read this. Tree agate is a stable force that grounds you back to earth, rooting you to the core of your being. A stone in resonance with nature, tree agate asks that you nurture the seeds you have planted and provide enough sustenance for them to succeed. Weed out the negativity and naysayers, right? Including your inner critic and know that despite it all, you are good enough. Tree agate promotes security in moments of growth so you feel safe as you expand in your journey. Follow your truth and know that you are supported along the way. Amaze balls. I love, love the crystals for you, group number two. Okay. So if you're resonating with that, because you have a lot of cards around grounding, maybe this is what you might need to do as well. Yeah, you can work with those crystals. Tree agate, or you can also work with red jasper as well for stability. On top of, yeah, that's freaking weird. No kidding, you guys. I just noticed that now. On top of grounding, no kidding, you guys. Let me just put it closer to the camera right stability it says here too stability and then he got your stability oh my gosh so yeah there's something about stability for you group number two okay if you wanted to be stable emotionally financially or what yeah there's something about that um you can work with this crystals as well for you to feel grounded, more stable, more secure, more centered. There's really something about that. Okay, anyway, let's pull up your affirmation. They can also work with. Okay, you got your environment. So let's read it. I love living in organized beauty. So I really feel that. Honestly, group number two, you guys really wanted to have this change of environment. There's something about that. No wonder there's a lot of travel cards, all right? In which maybe some of you are really looking into that. You wanted to experience something new. You wanted a change of environment, all right? And yeah, it says here, I love living in organized beauty. So maybe you guys actually wanted, you know, um, to be in a type of an environment in which um, there's actually, you know, peace or you're actually feeling that everything is actually really organized, all right? Or that things are actually not all over the place, all right? So yeah, maybe you guys are kind of like also Virgo or I don't know why I heard that all of a sudden. Maybe you have that in your chart because Virgos are actually very um, organized people. 
people, okay? So maybe you wanted to kind of like, you know, change some stuff in your environment. You wanted things to be really, you know, um, prepared and planned and well organized. I don't know. I'm also getting that as well for group number two. But anyway, that's all for you. I can't believe it. Your reading is so freaking long. 51 minutes. I can't believe it, actually. But yeah, it's because of, there's so many messages. Maybe a lot of people chose group number two. But anyway, um, that's all I have for you. I wish you a blessed October. All right. And happy birthday as well to all Libras. But in the later part of October, it's also, you know, uh, moving towards Scorpio season. So happy birthday as well to Scorpios out there fellow Scorpios. I'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Okay, group number three, you chose Pink Opal, which is also the crystal for those who are born in the month of October. This is also a heart chakra stone. So let's find out what's in store for you for the month of October. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective who chose group number three. All right, you got here, High Priest. Queen of the Ocean. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. You have Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, you have Three of Cups. Okay. And then you also have here four of swords. Bottom of the deck, you have two of wands. Okay, group number three. This is so freaking fantastic. So what I'm actually seeing here, strong Taurus energy. Okay. I'm also seeing here Libra, if it's also ear. So what's in store for you for this month? Group number three, I'm getting here that this is a very, very prosperous time for you or a prosperous month. You even got the Wheel of Fortune, all right? So I really feel that things are actually shifting towards your favor. I'm also getting here as well that there's going to be that great abundance happening for you this month of October, whether it's actually around your career or whether it's actually around your um, love life. It can also be that. Others of you, I'm also hearing very strongly that there's there is going to be a possible reunion happening, okay, between you and an individual from your past. That's another possibility here. I'm also getting here as well that there's definitely something um, that you will be celebrating about this month of October. Others of you, it's a birthday for sure, especially if you're a Libra. I'm seeing that very strongly, okay? So yeah, I feel that you guys are really, really going to be happy because of either you are going to be enjoying your time with your family or with your dear ones, okay? Um, especially if it's your birthday because I keep on hearing that as well. Somebody watching group number three is celebrating their birthday. And yeah, thanks are really going great for you for this month. And then another message I'm hearing as well is that the reason as to why you are going to be feeling this lucky break or you're feeling prosperous is because all of your plans, all right, or ideas, it's actually, you know, coming into fruition. That's really what I'm seeing here as well. And you've worked hard for this, okay? Especially if you're resonating with, yes, you've been working hard on something. You've been putting a lot of efforts. Um, you will be reaping the rewards, group number three, okay? Luck is definitely on your side this month. Wow. And finally, I'm also getting here as well that for those who are resonating with, you may be actually, you know, suffering from some ailment. I'm also hearing that very strongly as well. Um, I'm hearing that you will be feeling, you know, so much better than ever. Like you are finally seeing that your illness, I'm actually picking up, um, I don't know what type of illness though, but maybe this has been going on for a long time. Um, you may be, you know, experiencing that this illness is not necessarily coming away, you know, completely, but I'm actually getting more of like an improvement. Like you're seeing some progress that things are really improving um, around your health, okay? And I'm talking about physical ailment or physical illness, okay? That was so strong. I keep on hearing that as well. So that's great, all right? So if you are actually resonating with that, maybe you were suffering from something. I'm hearing that it has been going on for a long time already, okay? I'm even hearing two years for some of you. I don't know who is that for, but yeah, it's like 
there's a miracle, all right? Like, I keep on hearing that you are really going to be amazed how things are actually improving in your health. Maybe because this is actually really um, difficult or it's really, you know, quite challenging. Or maybe you may have thought that it's actually quite impossible for you to heal from this illness or this chronic illness. Okay, I keep on hearing that. I don't know who is that for. But anyway, it's really, you know, going to be an amazing, prosperous, and lucky month for group number three. I tell you that, all right? Luck is definitely on your side, especially that you got here, the Wheel of Fortune. Others of you, you're just feeling renewed because you're recovering from something, all right? The wheels are turning towards your favor in which there is really a lot of stability, a lot of happiness, okay? You're also, you know, feeling on top of your game. That's another energy I'm getting for group number three. Wow. So yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards here. You have take time to breathe out, be bold, and make the first move. Okay. You have intuition and manifestation. And then you have your, wow, creative endeavor. Okay. So I really feel for group number three, this is a month in which your creativity is really heightened. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I'm also getting here that, yeah, with this intuition and manifestation, this is a powerful time for you to manifest, all right? This is a time in which you're really going to be putting your focus um, on your dreams, your goals, um, or those ideas that you may have. You're finally going to be, you know, taking some action towards that. You're going to be really confident about taking action towards this desire that you have or this plan that you have, which is related to your creativity, related to your career. That is so strong, okay? With a take time to breathe out, again, it's more of like a sigh of relief for group number three, in which finally, all right, you're seeing that things are actually, you know, moving, you know, according to what you want, or it's actually working towards your favor, just like what I said, all right? Wow, this is so freaking beautiful. I love the energy for group number three. I really, you know, could feel that um, there's really going to be a shift in your um, energy this month of October. Maybe you've been, you know, through something really, you know, challenging and really difficult in which you may be kind of like feeling as if that things are actually not working towards your favor. But I feel this is your lucky month, just like what I said, in which things are really, you know, working according to what you want. Um, and if you've been manifesting, yeah, this is a great month for you to be doing that because it's highly charged this month of October. All right, let's try to pull up another set of cards for you guys. Fourth Chakra Archangel Raphael. You got joy and stability, feeling alone, and then sacral chakra, okay? Oh, yeah. So, for some of you, there's really, you know, um, that energy of you recovering, you're healing from the past. Um, remember, you got the Four of Swords, which is also a healing card. So, for some of you, it's heart chakra healing. It can also be, you know, for somebody, you know, watching group number three, um, especially around physical ailment, somebody suffering from some heart issues, okay? Um, and, yeah, I'm hearing very strongly that it's kind of like a miracle that... Um, you are going to be experiencing that the health condition that you may have is really showing signs of improvement, okay? That's really, really strong. I don't know who is that for. But for others of you, the reason as to why I got the heart chakra over here, maybe you are actually still, you know, recovering from something, whether it's actually heartbreak or loss, all right? Because you got here feeling alone. But yeah, like what I said, I feel that a lot of you guys are really going to be um, kind of like feeling that there's going to be a shift in your situation or a shift in your energy. Some of you, you're the one who's going to be shifting your consciousness even. 
that's another message I'm hearing. A lot of you guys are really going to be putting more of your focus on your desires now, okay? Because this is also a lack consciousness card. And remember, when it comes to manifestation, since you have the manifest card earlier, I feel this is part of what you're actually going to be shifting. Instead of putting your focus more on the things that you currently do not have right now, you're going to put your focus instead on the things that would really make you feel so passionate or towards your desires because sacral chakra is a desire card all right things that that would actually make you feel so happy with this for once energy so yeah gosh this is so beautiful for group number three i really feel that there's going to be a shift in energy um whether you are seeing some improvement in your situation in your health and your finances because again luck is actually on your side here others of you you are going to be initiating some changes on how you perceive yourself or your situation by coming out of this lack consciousness and putting your focus instead on the things that really you know is going to make you happy that's really what I'm picking up here. All right, let's try to pull up another set of cards. Yeah, it's the month of abundance. My gosh, what did I tell you at the very start of the reading? This is a very prosperous month for group number three so congratulations okay and it says here i am a limitless being and i can manifest again there's something about manifestation for group number three how crazy is that you keep on getting the word manifest it's so freaking weird <laughs> let me go back intuition and manifestation right and it says here i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality exactly that's what you're actually going to be realizing as well because i feel for group number three you're going to be stepping away from that lack consciousness okay and like what I always say, the key to successful manifestation is that you don't put your focus on the things they don't have at the moment, all right? You put your focus on your desires because the more that you put your focus on the things that you cannot have at the moment or you don't have at the moment, it's really going to be attracting more of what you don't want in life, all right? You're attracting more of the things that would really make you feel frustrated or worried or anxious. So I feel there's going to be a shift taking place for group number three it's more about how you actually like what i said see yourself how you see your situation you're going to be in the mindset of abundance okay instead of being the mindset of poverty or lack which is good and i feel that part of what you're going to realize as well is that yes you're a limitless being you have the power to manifest anything that you desire all right you can turn all of those plans those those ideas into reality so yeah, let's actually pull up another set of cards. I'm here in Germany. Somebody watching group number three can be from Germany. I just really heard that right now. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's crazy. I just suddenly heard a country. So yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Yep. You got time to go. Time for a nap. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Transformation. Whoa. Group number three. This is so freaking good. Okay. So what I'm actually seeing for you guys this month of October is that, yeah, you can let out that sigh of relief. That's really the energy I'm getting. Okay. Because finally, things are shifting towards your favor. That's really what I heard. And for some of you, you can let out that sigh of relief because of, especially for those who are resonating with you may be really down with some sort of like illness. That was so strong. I keep on hearing that for someone watching group number three. Um, and you've been trying to recover from it and all that. Yeah, there will be some positive changes around your um, well-being, okay, around your health. Others of you, um, it can be not necessarily physical health. It can be um, around your financial health, right? 
my gosh, but whatever this is, you know, things are actually um, changing for the better for you guys. Some of you, like what I said, you are with the time to go. You are going to be walking away from something, okay? Maybe, for instance, that example of you walking away from the consciousness of lack so you can attract more abundance into your life. By putting your focus on your desires, putting your focus on the things that would inspire you, things that would actually make you feel so happy or joyful, all right? Some of you are going to be putting your focus on um, long-term plans, right? That's basically your interest now. You're going to be putting your um, focus on what's really going to be good for you um, for a long-term period, or there's something about you putting your focus on your own, you know, future survival, your security. Yeah, that was so strong too as well. Well, this is so beautiful for group number three. Let's try to pull up another set of cards here. Dragon's Lair. You have Imperfect Harmony. Oh my gosh. Focus. See, I told you. Oh my gosh. I just love how everything is matching here. And you have heart chakra. Are you freaking kidding me? You got the heart chakra earlier, right? So that's quite amazing. So anyway, here's what I'm actually hearing based on these cards. So you're coming out of the cold, group number three, okay? You're coming out of this period of scarcity. That's really the energy I'm picking up for group number three. You may be in this, you know... um, situation in which things are not working, you know, towards your favor, just like what I said, or there's actually that period of scarcity, but you're coming out of that, all right? Things are finally, you know, being balanced out in your situation. Another message I'm hearing based on these cards is that with a focus, like what I said, you're putting your focus now on the right side of things, okay? Maybe in the past, um, you were putting more of your focus on the things that you don't have or can't have at the moment, and it's blocking you from this manifestation, all right? Or it's blocking your manifestation. But I see now, group number three, that you're shifting, all right? You're changing some things. You're doing things differently as well, so you can be in the flow. I keep on hearing that. With this harmony, it's like you're more aligned um, to the right frequency or vibration. I'm really getting that very strongly for you guys. So again, you're putting your focus on the right side of things. That's your energy for the month of October. And then with the heart chakra as well, like what I said, I feel that for group number three, you guys are really recovering, you're healing, okay? Um, you're releasing, you know, something from your past and you're now putting your focus on the lessons. You're also now putting more focus on the things that would actually, you know, make you happy again. You're no longer going to be, you know kind of like a prisoner of the past with this dragon's lair. It's like you don't want to be in that prison anymore because you're realizing that you do have the power, all right, to take control of your life again. You have the power to change your situation by changing your focus, all right? That's really what I'm getting here. Yeah, I feel that a lot of you guys were feeling overwhelmed with your past situation, okay? But that situation actually helped you to become strong is what I'm hearing. And at the same time, it has helped you to grow, okay? So even though it may be really difficult, it may be traumatic, it may be really challenging, but I'm getting here that that experience actually also helped you as well to become wiser, a lot more stronger, a lot more mature even, okay? Wow, okay. So anyway, let's move on to the next set of cards.
Okay, you got your protection. You have trust. Okay. Okay, so what I'm actually, you know, hearing very strongly here, based on these two cards, he got the protection, okay? The first message I was hearing was that um, if it's related to your past, okay, in which it was really painful because there's a lot of heart chakra healing for you guys. And that is crazy, by the way, because you chose Pink Opal. And like what I told you before we start the reading, this is a great heart chakra crystal to work with. This is also a great crystal to work with if you're suffering from some loss, all right, um, or you are probably going through some sort of like depression or anxiety as well. Yeah, this is a great crystal to work with. But anyway, going back with the protection card, if this is related to your past, I feel that situation is actually helping you to create some boundaries, okay? That's really what I'm getting. Somebody watching group number three may have trusted the wrong person or wrong people, okay? And so I feel this is part of your growth. This is what you're also learning. Yes, it was painful. It was really heavy. It was really traumatic. But this has helped you now, all right, to create some healthy boundaries for yourself. Not to say that you're not going to trust anybody, but it's more of like you're not really going to be giving in your trust too lightly towards people around you. You get what I'm saying? Because you're now establishing or learning to establish healthy boundaries for yourself towards other people around you. And then this trust card is also talking about when one door closes, another door opens, okay? So I really feel that for group number three, this is what's going to happen for you for this month of October. You may have lost something, all right? But I feel that it's just reopening new opportunities or new doors out there out there for you that's really the vibe i'm getting as well um if you're not resonating with you may have you know dealt with something really traumatic in which you felt betrayed or you've trusted the wrong person or you may have given your trust to the wrong you know people yeah i feel that whatever it is that has happened for you in the past or um an event that did not work out for you or a situation that ended. It's just basically reopening, yeah, new doors. And that this is also a card that talks about you just needed to trust that universe has a plan for you. If it didn't work out for you, maybe there's a better plan for you from the universe. That's why it says here when one door closes, there's another one that would actually be open up. Wow. This is beautiful for group number three. Okay, let's see. What else? Let's try the tea leaf fortune cards. Okay, you got the ant card. So yeah, success when it comes to your work. I can't believe it. Well, I won't be surprised because luck is on your side this month of October. So finances is really going to be amazing. All right. You even got the abundance card. And yeah, one of the great cards to get when it comes to finances, even because you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is also a wealth card. So yeah, your hard work is definitely going to be paying off, I tell you that. You also have here February. So either the month of February um, is something very significant for group number three. Either something happened uh, the month of February or it can also be your birth month, okay? Yeah, it says your disappointment. So yeah, maybe you were actually disappointed um, around um, someone, okay? Or your situation from the past, all right? Things that did not work, it can also be that. Oh, wow, okay. Now this is nice. Another month, November. So yeah, there's something about the month of November. Although this is an October reading, there's also going to be something significant that could occur as well for you for the month of November. So watch out for that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, they keep on showing me here that something happened for group number three in which your plans didn't work out, you were really disappointed, okay, or you were unable to resolve some sort of like a problem, whether it's work-related issues or whatever, okay, but yeah, maybe 
this will finally close out for the month of November, all right? But you are going to be seeing some progress um, this month of October towards, you know, or leading towards the month of November where you are finally going to be closing out this cycle. That's another possibility for some of you, okay? Others of you, maybe this started February as well, all right? But this can also be a birth month for some of you. All right. And then, yeah, there is a possibility of you guys um, starting a new business, a new project. All right. That's another possibility. All right. For the month of October. Oh, my gosh. I love your reading group number three. So, yeah, if things didn't work out for you um, in the past, there is a reason. OK, just trust that the universe is opening new opportunities or a new door for you. But let's see. Let's pull this up. Let's try this deck. What's in store for you guys this month of October? Oh my gosh, love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go to page two for some additional messages. Okay. So this card is basically talking about um, you attracting, you know, so many connections, all right? Um, your aura is also brighter than ever. Your charisma is also oozing. Either you will have amazing communication skills with everyone that you come in contact with, or you can actually gently persuade friends to get back on the right track. Or this is also, you know, um, not necessarily about romantic partnerships, but it's also about you meeting new friends as well, all right? Yeah, but I feel that your personal life is heating up this month of October, group number three, okay? So I feel this is a time for you to enjoy being social or um, to socialize with people, with new and like-minded people, okay? And then if it's all about career or finances, my gosh, this is also time about popularity for some of you. So either you will be really recognized in your workplace, all right? Um, or you will be attracting a lot of clients as well, all right? That's another possibility. Because your aura is brighter than ever, or it will be brighter than ever, group number three. That's because of you are doing something really amazing. I feel that a lot of you are shifting your consciousness. And by doing this, by shifting your energy, raising your vibration, things are also going to be reflecting on the outside, all right? Where things are improving as well. You're actually attracting more positive things to happen in your life as well because of you are changing something from within then that's really what's happening for group number three and then this is also a great possibility for some of you to be promoted all right that's another thing that's being said here for this love card all right or your ideas your contributions will be highly valued by your peers as well or by your superiors okay others of you there's going to be a lot of money making ideas that are coming your way this month of october all right oh wow and then if it's all about relationships since it says your love this is a time in which you're really going to be pondering or reflecting on your current relationships. Either you are really going to be identifying who's supporting you, who's nurturing you, and who is not. So some of you are really going to be removing yourself as well from those who's not really good for you or those that you really do not enjoy spending time with, okay? So yeah, I really feel that you're putting more of your focus on right connections, like-minded, you know, people. That's really your main focus as well around um, people or connections. Yeah, because you will have low patience for unequal, argumentative, uh, argumentative relationship success here because you're basically craving for some deeper soul connections. Wow, all right. And my gosh, it says here... For those who are manifesting um, marriage or, you know, getting married um, in the near future, this is really the perfect time for you to be manifesting that, okay? Because if this is your desire, this will certainly manifest quickly now. That's what it says here. And that's crazy because you keep on getting a lot of, you know, keywords around manifestation. So, yeah, let's actually pull up some messages for you before we pull up the crystals they can work with for the month of October, your lucky days or lucky month, or rather not lucky month, lucky days, lucky days, or lucky number rather, okay? And then some affirmation as well. 
All right, let's actually start off with your message. Okay, got your polarity. It says here, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Okay, so there's something about balance as well. Yeah, that's true. There can be no light without dark. So for some of you, um, either you're also working on your shadow side as well. All right. Um, you're actually kind of like embracing as well um, your strengths, your weaknesses. I also heard that very strongly right now. Okay. There's something about that. And it's, it's actually really strong as well for group number three in which you are really going to be working on your shadow side as part of your improvement or self-improvement. Let's see what else. And then you got organization. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Yeah, be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So yeah, that's another message for group number three. So I really feel that you're just being asked to incorporate, all right, organization or discipline to your methods, which will be of help, all right, to your targets, your dreams, or your plans. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful for group number three. This is also very much unique with group one and group two's reading, by the way. So let's actually pull up some lucky days or um, some lucky numbers. I said months earlier, lucky days and lucky um, numbers for you for the month of October. So there's something about the number 10, all right? And then it says here, you will start all over again. Yeah, that's exactly what you're going to be doing as well this month of October. Because remember, doors may have closed already or you've actually closed some old doors and you're ready to begin again. So yeah, you will definitely start all over again. You're going to be feeling, you know, as if that you're building yourself up again or you're picking up the pieces. There's something about 10 days as well or 10 weeks for some of you. And then you got your Libra. So you might be a Libra. Well, it's Libra season. Okay, let's see what else. Friday. So your lucky day for the month of October. It's Friday. Yeah, it says here, finalize something. Just let go. So I feel that's it. I feel that either some of you are still in the process of closing out a cycle or closing some old doors before you are going to be embracing this brand new beginning. But you're definitely going to be letting go of something. Another lucky day, Monday. Okay. Seek advice. Well, you got that message earlier. Um, if you can remember that organization card, for some of you, that could be a message from your spirit team that you have to be open to seek advice, all right, from somebody that you really trust around your situation, okay? Or to be open and flexible to swap some ideas with others, all right? So, yeah, um, we have here number 10. That can be your lucky number, number 7, number 6, number 2 as well. And then um, you may be a Libra. Okay, well, it's Libra season. If you're not a Libra, it's okay. It's the Libra season for the month of October. And then your lucky days, it can be Friday as well as Monday. Wow. All right, let's actually pull up the crystal they can work with for this month of October. Okay, wow, you have three. You got Red Jade, so let's read it. Unleash your inner warrior. Red Jade is a stone of power, able to release anger in constructive ways that solves problems. Filled with qi, known as life force in Chinese culture, Red Jade enhances passion, vitality, and strength. Take action and more 
and rather move decisively. Red Jade enhances your courage, protecting and inspiring you as you move forward in your day-to-day -day life. Use Red Jade when you're looking to have exponential results, whether it's with your finances, business, or with your physical health. Good luck is bestowed onto you. What the freak? What did I tell you? Luck is on your side this month. Oh my gosh. What the freak? Group number three. So yeah, you may want to work with that crystal, red jade, okay? And then we also have here, blue aragonite. So it says here, communication is key. And with blue aragonite, you will definitely send the message. Blue aragonite activates the throat, third eye, and heart chakras, allowing you to communicate from a whole and centered place while the stone instills hope and inspiration. This crystal enhances your ability to empathize and show compassion for others, fostering authentic connections. Blue aragonite's communication skills also carry across when you're communicating with the spirit realm, cultivating a calm and relaxed space for even more clarity to come through. So, you can also work with this crystal if you're resonating with the message, okay? And then lastly, you got your Labradorite. Wow! It says here, a stone of transition, Labradorite assists in times of change and transformation. If you notice, the keyword is transformation as well for group number three. So it says here, it expands our connection with the universe, unlocking the third eye and all the wonder that lies beyond the physical realm, as well as your magical powers. Labradorite evokes the magic we all have, reminding us to wield our power by going within and connecting to the core truths of who we are. Chase after your dreams and align yourself with the vibration of anything is possible and energy Labradorite is all too familiar with. Oh my gosh. So yeah, very beautiful crystals you can work with for the month of October. So whether it's Red Jade, Blue Aragonite, or Labradorite. And so... Before we wrap things up, let me actually pull up this affirmation they can also work with. Okay. You have relationships. So let's see. I encourage conversations that connect me with people in an intimate and meaningful way. Well, yeah, that's quite interesting because if you notice as well, group number three, this is part of the message for some of you in which you're actually going to be craving for more deeper, meaningful, you know, connections. So I feel this is actually what you are really going to be putting your focus on. You wanted to be surrounded or to be around people or actually going to be really lifting your vibrations or really good for you or like-minded people. People in general, right? That's really what I'm getting here. So, yeah, it says here, I encourage conversations that connect me with people in an intimate and meaningful way. So there's also something about um, communication, which is what was written here on this blue aragonite crystal they actually got. I feel as well that because of this um, affirmation, I feel that some of you are really going to be um, more communicative in expressing as well yourself. Um, you're actually going to be more confident enough to show who you truly are. There's something about authenticity as well in which you're really going to be uh, more open towards others, all right? Or you're really going to be communicating with people who really also understands you or people who are actually going to be um, also open towards you in which there's actually that really beautiful flow of conversation between you and this individual that you guys can actually going to be, you know, talking to much more deeper level, all right, instead of actually, you know, engaging in um, connections or relationships that are quite shallow. I, I feel that this is part of what you're also going to be, you know, changing as well, group number three, okay? So yeah, such a fantastic for reading it for you guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed this. I wish you a blessed, blessed um October, and especially if this is your birthday or your birth month, all right? Happy birthday to all Librans out there. All right, that's all I have for you. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, guys.